Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions and as you can see I'm going to watch episode 16 of Toradora today. So in this last episode we got to see these really hard moments with Kitamura and it was really painful to watch how much he, he was suffering and uh, how he didn't want to become this uh, student council president and uh, he was doing all sorts of things to, to, to avoid being elected and he even quit the, the student council so yeah that was uh, quite something and it was pretty clear that he was uh, suffering a lot but uh, I still don't know like um, a lot about this, we got some hints but uh, I feel like there's still a lot more to be explained and uh, like it's pretty obvious that this is really personal to him and I don't know if this involves his family as well because of uh, how he was mentioning before that uh, like uh, you adult, uh, adults are all the same and stuff and like uh, uh, Ryuji's mother and his parents were all together on this so it kind of felt like uh, his parents are like um, uh, pressuring him into becoming the the president or something like that. Uh, but I'm not too sure about it. I'm really going to have to watch these next episodes to be uh, like to to understand this situation a lot better. But in the end, just really hope that um, this ends up well for Kitamura and that they manage to help him. Uh, but yeah, it's something that I'm going to have to learn by watching these uh, these episodes. So, with this, I really hope you guys are ready, and let's start this one. And Taiga. Going for president as well. Because there was this thing of, like, with, um... Comparing Kitamura's... Actions with Kushida before and how she didn't uh, like scary stuff, but she actually did I don't know if it's the same for Kitamura or not He didn't do it They were about to paint his hair black I think Um, <laughs> she actually eat her. <laughs> that timing. No wonder. Taiga is going for president to... Give some motivation to Kitamura, maybe? Like, uh... I'm really not too sure. I'm trying to... To understand it. And I know that they're going to explain it, but... I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out, but... There's a lot of ideas crossing my mind right now, and I can't tell... Which are good or not. But it's still going to be... Interesting to see what happens. Just hope that... It's actually something good happening. I mean, we also learned that Kitamura was the only one... The only candidate for president, so... No one else was going for it, so I'm not too sure if... It's also because of that, like there was no competition or anything. I doubt that's the full reason. It might be like all of these things together, I don't know. Oh. I want it. Yeah. Yep. A 
That's true, yeah. Oh, damn, those posters, though. <laughs> With the cape and everything. Was this supposed to be like before when they did that uh, festival? With the wrestling and stuff? Hmm. I'm not going for it. In close. More days. Tomorrow is the last day. Hmm. Something important. Did you do? Was he in love with her? Yeah, dude, I was actually wondering about this, but... Damn! Hmm. Hmm, so that's why it explains a lot. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Hmm. Oh, is there? Uh, she's there. Stupid dog. <laughs> She's so mean sometimes, but she means well. They okay, needed this as well to talk with someone. It's actually something I was wondering before, if he was in love with her and didn't want her like to step down. I remember saying that. But it's actually that she's leaving.
Hmm. Probably the best choice. Imagine if she knew that he's in love with the president. He's coming. And he's probably not blonde anymore. Yep. That's nice. Of course, everyone is going to vote on him. It's nice to see him back, but... It was really hard for him, that's for sure. Ooh, half an hour left. Really? Just when I was thinking he was going to do it. Hmm. Was it Taiga? Yeah, it was Taiga. Yeah, now with the president, this happens. Yeah. And it just got his heart broken again. And not because she rejected him, but she's leaving. She doesn't even know, right? Damn. Trying to help him. He can't give up. Two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. But yeah, I totally understand him. Not easy. He needs to keep moving forward.
Oh, damn. He's actually he's actually saying it. Tiger though. Hmm. Yeah, this was really sudden, so I don't know how she's going to react to it. But Tiger though. She's going to be so affected. Hmm. Damn. I hope they talk after this. I'm worried about Taiga though. This is... This whole situation is... Involves so many people. Hmm. A tiger. Yeah, I can see why. It's probably not fine. Yeah, he is. As a friend. Exactly. Oh, damn. Um. This one better run. Damn. Hmm. She actually has it as well. Damn. Damn. Went to stop her. Yeah. Actually, Ryuji.
Yeah, exactly. This is not easy for her as well. Just wanted the best for him. Or wanted him to follow his own dreams. Damn. This is really emotional. Oh, damn. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Damn, two weeks. I can see why. And have to write that letter of apology. Yeah, this episode was really emotional, that's for sure. My eyes were getting really wet in that scene. Just like so hard for... Like it's not easy for any of them. And... I... Already had the idea that... Um, that girl, like... I can't remember her name right now, Kanu or something. But I... I already had the idea that this was not easy for her as well. She was saying those things for a reason. Like, she she was not uh, trying to be evil or anything like that. In the end, she just didn't want Kitamura to give up on his uh, own dreams and, uh, like, everything like that just to follow her. Like, he, she wanted him to be... To follow his dreams and not uh, her, so that was I'm pretty sure that like she, as she was saying she loved him as well. I think there's more, right? Sumire, that's her name. So the letter from Taiga. Fool. <laughs> that's a nice apology. Oh my god, that's typical Taiga right there. Uh, but that was that was definitely a really good episode. It's probably one of my favorites so far because of all of the feelings involved and like it was so hard for Kitamura because he really loved her and this was something that I was wondering about in the previous episode when I was trying to figure out what exactly uh, was like the reason for his actions and this was something that crossed my mind that uh, uh, I think I even said it uh, during the video that um, I had uh, the feeling that maybe he was in love with uh, the presidents and uh, 
he didn't want her to step down or something, so that's why uh, he quit and didn't want to uh, to to be elected and stuff. But yeah, th I was really not believing it was a reason like that, but he was indeed in love with her, so that was uh, something that uh, didn't really surprise me, because I, uh, like it could be a possibility, but uh, it was still really interesting to, uh, to learn about this, and to see that um, it was like, it, it, it was just like suffering a lot, of course, and uh, it instantly reminded me of uh, how he got reject uh, rejected uh, by Taiga before, and that was uh, already a really sad moment for him, of course. And now he loved the president and just learned that she was going to America to like uh, go to a specific school and stuff and then become an astronaut. So st she was going to follow that life. So that would mean that they were, they would be, uh, they wouldn't be able to be together uh, anymore after that. I mean, they they could still be in touch with each other, but it, it wouldn't be the same, of course. And specifically because he loved her, so he wanted to be together with her. So yeah, that was. I mean, this affected him a lot, and it really explains all of his actions and how he just wanted to give up on everything. Like, uh, uh he was, uh, he was just really unfortunate, and nothing was working. So yeah, it, it really made uh, everything understandable, but uh, I'm, I'm just like really hoping that uh, from now on he just um, follows his own dreams and uh, we saw how, was, how he was uh, grateful for everything that uh, uh, Sumire said to him and uh, everything she did as well because she really uh, helped him a lot uh, even if uh, they can't be together. So yeah, that's, uh, that was a really, really good... Um, good episode and I'm just like thinking about a lot of things because there was so much involved on this. This was also like really hard uh, for her, for Sumire, because uh, she wanted to be with him. I'm sure of that. Like she uh, also had these love feelings uh, for him, but uh, she didn't want to like uh, make him tag along with her and uh, like give up on his dream. So she did this uh, as painful as it was for her. She wanted to do uh, the best for him, like to allow him to follow his own dreams, just like she is uh, doing with herself. Like she's also uh, going for what she loves. So yeah, this was quite something. And um, and also Taiga. Like as soon as I saw Kitamura expressing his love for the, the president when uh, he was uh, like um. Uh, about to be elected, I instantly started thinking of Taiga because, like, hearing that uh, from the guy you love, uh, it must be so hard. And, like, she was saying that she was fine and that she meant it, but, I mean, deep inside we know that, uh, like, she, she wasn't, that really affected her. Uh, but I don't know what might happen. I mean, they could still end up together somehow, since he's going to stay here, uh, he's going to be the president now. And um, Taiga, I don't know if she's uh, still uh, like going to try uh, to make Kitamura fall in love with her or not. Uh, but it's something that we are going to learn with uh, these, these next episodes most likely. And we are slowly getting to the end. We still have like more than 10 episodes or so. So a lot uh, could still happen. I'm not too sure if we are going to end up uh, watching someone in a relationship with another one. Uh, because right now we have... Uh, and uh, like... There's a lot of, like, not a love triangle, but uh, there's a lot of these uh, uh, love feelings involved. Like, I believe that Taiga loves um, Kitamura, but she also loves uh, Ryuji. And, um, like, she doesn't uh, explicitly say that, but uh, it's, uh, like, a bit obvious that she has feelings towards Ryuji. Like, they spend a lot of time uh, together, and he really makes her comfortable. And at the same time... Kitamura felt in love with Taiga first, but then he got rejected. So the president at that time uh, ended up saving him and giving him uh, like a motivation. And uh, he ended up falling in love with her. So uh, that didn't work uh, as well. So that was a big hit on Kitamura. And um, now, uh, I don't know. If, uh, he's, if, if he's still uh, going to uh, fall in love with Taiga again or not. But I don't believe that uh, right now he loves anyone. Or like as, at least at this specific moment. I, I, he might still love the, the president of course. And he's uh, most likely never going to stop loving her. 
but uh, I don't know. He's uh, still probably going to end up together with uh, someone close to uh, to him. But I don't know who that um, could be. And uh, we have Kushia, that she's still pretty mysterious to me. I feel like uh, she's uh, the one that um, they didn't really uh, get into that much, at least. Like, they give some hints, but uh, I feel like we still don't know a lot about her. And I really hope that uh, at some point, and hopefully as soon as possible, uh, they also explain some of, uh, like, uh, what's going on in her life. And uh, if, uh, like... Um, not if, but uh, just uh, like going uh, deeper uh, into her own story. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, like, I don't know if she actually loves someone or not because of that whole conversation with Ryuji and how she was saying that uh, she couldn't see uh, those ghosts. I think she was implying that she couldn't fall in love with someone or something. Uh, but I'm not too sure about that because in the end it's like doing comparisons and I might be wrong about some of them, of course. And uh, then there's Amy. She... Uh, loves Ryuji, I'm like, I think uh, it's uh, obvious, and uh, I don't know if uh, like it's going to work, but I don't, I honestly don't believe so, but right now I, I can't really, like, uh, say, or like, I don't really know who's going to end up together with who, I wanted to believe that maybe Ryuji and Taiga would end up uh, together, just because of how close they are, and how they spend a lot of time together, and, um, I don't know, apart from that, I don't know who could end up together with who, uh, like other than the Ryuji and Taiga, if it happens, I, I'm not too sure if uh, they're going to end up together or not, but right now I can't really know who's uh, like uh, going to be together and stuff, I'm going to have to watch uh, a lot more to see how all of these uh, like relationships uh, um, progress. Uh, so yeah, either way, it was just really, really good to watch this episode, it was... As I said, one of my favorites right now, just because of uh, everything involved and how there was uh, a lot of feelings and lo uh, like lots of these emotions, and just really love like the way they do everything. The story so far is just uh, just really amazing, and I really can't wait to see what's going to be uh, the outcome of all of these um, like situations. Like uh, uh, who's going to end up together? That's uh, like literally my uh, biggest uh, curiosity. Uh, so yeah, just really hope that uh, no matter what happens, uh, by the end, everyone ends up being happy, at least. I mean, even if it's not uh, together as a couple, uh, they can still be friends. And we saw how Taiga was like literally saying that uh, uh, she's not going to stop helping Kitamura, even if uh, uh, things don't work out as uh, like in terms of love. They can still be friends and they can like be good friends and that's what matters in the end. It's not just about uh, having a boyfriend or anything, it's having someone you actually care about. So yeah, that was just really really good and I really can't wait to see what's going to happen in the next episodes. So with this, I really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one, so take care guys.